Hey everybody, Russell W. Oker, Go Hills TV, powered by JBS. Time for our fairway meet and grocery post game. The Warriors get the win tonight over Cloud County. And I've got uh, Coach Sash here along with uh, TJ Morris and Kenai <coughs> Briggs. And uh, Indian Hills, uh, first game uh, in quite a while coming off of the break. Coach, uh, it took us a little bit to get going. I mean, we got going right out of the shoot with six quick points, and then we went about nine minutes there without scoring. So talk a little bit about what uh, Cloud County was doing that was causing us problems early. Yeah, I think some of it was what they were doing, and some of, some of it was us kind of knocking some rust off a little bit. Um, <laughs> You know, I think one of the main things that we talked about and, you know, just some of the coaches that I tried to talk to, um, you know, leading up to this game and teams that have played them is, uh, you know, don't get frustrated early. Don't get passive early with uh, what they're doing defensively because it's just something you got to kind of maybe have a couple possessions early on that don't go your way. Uh, we threw in a couple threes early and then we kind of hit that where we we're struggling to kind of figure out how to attack what they did. And then I thought, you know, we started to figure it out as the second half or as, a, as the first half went. And then I think at halftime, you know, we, we were able to kind of talk through some things and, and really just try to simplify the game. And these guys did a great job of executing that in the second half. T.J. Morris uh, with us. T.J. had a great uh, game tonight. Uh, T.J., talk about uh, what the message was in, in the locker room from Coach a little bit because it obviously worked. We had a great second half. Um, he just told us to um, pick it up because he felt like uh, it was the first game back and we wasn't really playing as hard as we could. So um, he just basically just told us to play, um, play harder or it was going to beat us. You had uh, season-high 15 points uh, tonight to go along with five rebounds, four assists. Uh, it really looked like that uh, you were feeling pretty good out there. You looked like you were uh, in control of things. Talk about uh, your game tonight and and uh, what was going well for you. Uh, I saw uh, I saw a few um, drop in the um, second half, and I just kept going. I just kept attacking, and um, coach um, he kept um, he had a lot of confidence in me tonight. You got the uh, the shot clock buzzer beater there down in the corner. That uh, that was quite a shot. Uh, talk about that that play and uh, you know I guess at what point you realize uh, you know that you got to get a shot up in a hurry. Um, it was late shot clock and um, I just saw uh, I saw a lot of space, so I just took a step back and shot it. Can I Briggs uh, big night tonight? 18 points, <coughs> uh, six of 10 from three point land and. I think you hit maybe four in a row there at uh, at one point. So uh, it took a little bit for us to get it going offensively. I'll ask you first, uh, you know, what you attributed our early struggles to, and then let's talk about how you really got it going there in that second half. Um, can you repeat the question? I said, <laughs> talk about what problems they were giving us early. Why do you think it took us a while to get going offensively? Uh, well, they play like a type of a funky type of defense of zone man type of um, so. We were just trying to adjust to that early. And then um, once we broke that down with uh, TJ, Braden, and um, Ticket, it kind of opened up shots for me. Second half, you really got it going from three-point <coughs> land, especially from the corner. So uh, talk a little bit about your mindset and what you feel like got you going tonight. Um, really, those guys driving and kicking and um, finding me, really. And um, my, my wrist. It's just made out of like ice. Can't miss, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just it certainly was. Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> it certainly was. All right, but. <laughs> Coach, we uh, they were beating us early in the game on the glass, but by the end of the game, I think it was forty-four twenty-nine. That's a huge difference. A lot of second chance points for us tonight as well. Yeah, they definitely out rebounded us in the first half, and that was something that we talked about at halftime. Um, you know, I thought we did a much better job and just played with more energy and, and more juice in the second half. And, um, you know, when we were able to get some stops defensively and, and, you know, finish possessions down there and not give up offensive rebounds, now all of a sudden we get, you know, a lot of multiple playmakers out there that can push the ball. And, and you know, when he starts finding some threes, uh, you know, we get really tough to guard in transition. We come off the long break. They also on the long break, and we talked a little bit about in the pregame, but uh, from your standpoint uh, as a coach, I'm sure these games make you a little bit a little bit nervous. Yeah, you know the the last game before break and the first game back from break, like those are two that I was worried about a lot. Um, you know, now uh, really just happy with how um, we were able to perform, especially in the second half. And you know, I thought you know some some guys that have been pretty consistent and weren't their best tonight. And so we had some other guys that stepped up. And you know, I think that's a, a tribute to our team and the depth that this team has. And you know, different guys can step up. You know, on different nights. I think you know, there's a stat. Uh, I think Ricky posted about you know we've been led 
uh, by seven different players in scoring this year. And so, uh, you know, we've gotten 30 p points. Uh, I think the last time out we got 30 points off our bench. I don't know what it was tonight, but TJ had 15 of them. Will had nine. Uh, David had seven. So we got really good contributions from uh, a lot of different guys tonight. And, you know, really just happy with how they played, fighting. You know, I, I told them, FIO, we got to figure this out. Like, it's going to be hard. It's going to be different. We're not going to feel the same as we were. We're going to be a little out of shape. Maybe our shot does fall. Maybe it doesn't fall, but we got to figure it out. And I thought they did a great job of doing that. Now we get a, a week to, um, you know, really make some strides and, and uh, get our conditioning back up and compete and, and uh, you know, figure out how we're going to beat Highland next Saturday night. As a whole, uh, you know, Cloud is a very good <coughs> basketball team. They came in at 9-3, and three and they play. There's a, there's a lot of good basketball teams in that in that Region 6. Uh, uh, a little bit about uh, your thoughts on, on Cloud County and, and uh, their level of play. Yeah, no, that's a really good basketball team. And, you know, that the, the zone specifically, uh, everybody that they play gives them problems. Um, offensively, they run some stuff that's a little bit unique that's, you know, hard to guard. You don't see it very often. And, and so, you know, as the game went, I thought, you know, we just did a great job of figuring it out. And that's a, it's a good team that's going to win quite a few games, you know, the second half of the year in the, in the Jayhawks. So they're going to be right there. They had 34 <coughs> points in the paint tonight. Obviously, you know, a lot of backdoor cuts looking for uh, the layups. But they had, I think, over 20 in the first half. So we obviously made an adjustment there yep. as well. We did a much better job in the second half. Yeah, they, they do a good job of attacking the paint, getting to the free throw line. I think they're uh, 11th in the country and, uh, you know, made free throws like almost 19 a game. Uh, but, you know, you can tell there's a there's a conscious effort from them and, and their squad to attack the paint. Um, you know, we, we were wanting to play aggressive and we were wanting to take number three out of the game. Uh, so we, you know, really hugged up to him. He can really, really, he's a high level shooter. I think he's making three threes a game at about 48%. So that was a big key for us. We were going to take him away. We we're going to deny him. But then I thought in the first half, a lot of our other guys kind of got hugged out to their men. And, and we were just playing one-on-one -on, -one on an island. And when we got beat, there was no help there. And then the second half, we were better in gaps. We kind of stayed more compact and did a j better job protecting the paint. Early in the game, uh, hardly any fouls on them. And that's not judging the officiating. I mean, that's just the way it is. Uh, but then we, we kind of got to them a little bit and, and started getting them to, to uh, get some fouls called on us. Talk a little bit about that as far as is that something in, in a timeout somewhere where you talk about, hey, we've got we've to force them to, to make some contact, to be more aggressive. Is it something we weren't doing versus we just weren't getting the calls or uh, something they were just doing well, but it took a long time for the whistle to start working on their end? Yeah, I think, you know, strategically for, for us, when we tried to attack right away early in the possession, um, you know they're just they're just sitting in that zone and, and they're in gaps and they're switching things and they're just kind of staying right there. So we were able to, uh, you know, try to attack to the baseline side and then swing the ball quickly because they overhelped to the baseline, swing the ball quickly, and then there was more gaps. After the initial uh, drive, we swung the ball quickly. We we attacked uh, closeouts and gaps, and then you know that that way we we're better getting to the rim. <clears throat> PJ, you had a play there in the second half. Uh, Kanai was in the corner where he'd just been draining three pointers and uh, a very basketball savvy play mm -hmm. with the pump fake, and then got yourself a, a nice layup out of that. Talk a little bit about that play and on the way in. Uh, obviously, that looks like you had a plan on the on the way in to to do the, uh, I guess the sneaky dink as I would call it. Mm -hmm. Um, I just I just try to play hard to be honest. Um. Uh, I knew they was going to um, play hard defense on Kanai because he just drained like four, to, four in a row. So um, I just attacked hard. I just listened to Coach. He told me to keep attacking. So I just attacked hard. All right. Uh, Kanai, how good did it feel to be back out there? I'm sure you guys enjoyed some quality time uh, over the holidays. But uh, it, how good did it feel to be back in action? Uh, it felt great. After like three days at home and good eating, I was ready to come back. Ready to come back. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best thing you had to eat? Uh, I can't say that. Secret, oh, secret. Secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you get anything good for Christmas? Uh, yeah, I got a couple things, but I don't, I don't ask for too much on Christmas. Okay, just a good meal? Yeah. 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 TJ, did you have a good holiday? Yeah, I had a great holiday, yeah. Good. You yeah. get anything good for Christmas? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, great job tonight. The Warriors uh, get the win. It's our 11th uh, Atumbo Job Corps Warrior win of the year. Now we're off uh, until next Saturday. We're at home. So, uh, Coach, uh, talk a little bit about what this week will look like now as we prepare for, for Highland. Yeah, tomorrow will be, you know, mostly a day off. Um, 
for our guys, and then uh, we'll do something on Monday, um, get them in here and uh, move them around a little bit, um, you know, and just start progressing and ramping it up for, for the rest of the week so that uh, we're, we're ready to go on Saturday. All right, Indian Hills wins at uh, 76-63 over uh, Cloud County, Kansas, and our 12th ranked Warriors go to 11-3 and on the season. Big thanks to uh, these guys for joining us tonight and all of you for joining us on the Fairway Meet and Grocery Post game here on Go Hills TV, powered by JBS. Go Warriors!